acknowledged and expressed the absolute um, atrocity of the case of George Floyd, uh, and his heart goes out to that family still. Um, he was noting a, a fact um, that there were, a, when you look at unarmed killings with police interactions in this country, that you had nine unarmed black individuals who were fatally shot and 19 unarmed white individuals. That's down from 38 and 32, respectively, in 2015. So the numbers have actually come down uh, since the Obama administration, who is making that point. But one point he wants to strongly make is this, uh, that black men and women who die of homicide, they are likely to die of homicide at eight times greater uh, than that of white individuals and Hispanics combined. Uh, that, that's the rate combined. So that's an extraordinary thing that we want to look at. I've listed for you the names of these kids who have died across this country. It is unacceptable. And under this president, he'll take action. And the derelict mayor of Chicago should step up and ask for federal help because she's doing a very poor job at securing her streets. We're talking about people yes. who are dying at the hands of police officers. Yes. Is the president considering uh, travel bans for members of the Communist Party uh, to enter the U.S.? And is he concerned about escalation of tensions with China? So I have um, no announcements on that front.